artificial flower of life is the flower of death. Essentially, the Thothian Luciferian agenda was to utterly destroy the crystal spiral and all organic creation code, matrices, and artifacts that included base 12 math and replace it with their own imposter versions of base 10 math, which includes the Metatronic Flower of Life geometry pattern, which is more aptly called the Flower of Death. This particular geometric template was designed with the purpose of distorting and changing all of the proportions in original Christos architecture to invert and split, which is fracturing consciousness energy, to co-create the distorted reversal structures that feed and generate artificial life in the black hole systems. This technology also shut down the organic masculine rod principle from spinning properly in the field architecture, so that the rod function would never unite with a female staff. This is the seed event of causality in the galactic planes that generated the Michael Mary Reversal Network, used to trap seraphim consciousness into the Golden Eagle grid to enforce the lockdown of nets and frequency fences surrounding the globe. This unnatural rod configuration was further enforced by the Caduceus Network, and this impacted the in and out breath patterns, repelling the spiritual intelligence from out of the human biology's natural breathing pattern. Our natural breath pattern is supposed to attract our living soul spirit matrix to run effortlessly through our breath. And this imposter architecture interfered with that process. So we had to work directly to get our soul consciousness back rather than just breathe in and out and have our soul automatically embodied. The crystal flower of life is used to describe creation mechanics in the ancient sacred sciences in which many awakening people will have a strong animation of cellular memory in knowing that this geometric template indeed exists and was a part of our hidden history from another time matrix. The original flower of life contained the Christic sacred geometric formulas of the 45 degree angles of the crystal spiral that perpetually source the tritone wave from the continual phase pulsing of the feedback loop generated from the cosmic heart center of the God source. This cosmic heart pulse is that love from the center point of all union, which brought forth and seeded all creations, ultimately giving the gift of the eternal source and its sustenance, which is maintained through the crystal heart centered connection existing within the Christos blueprint. The Holy Trinity is the representative interconnection of all life, being sourced from the eternal love of the Holy Mother, Holy Father, and the Holy Christos Sophia, the offspring creations that are the children of God. To impose artificial creations through technological machinery designed to continue to circulate finite energy and propagate metatronic reversals, the insertion of an imposter geometric template was used. A formula to override the mechanics of organic creation occurred by implanting reversal coding into the time matrices, and this inorganic template that was used is the artificial flower of life. In this geometric pattern, the diagonals are set at 60 degrees which is unnatural to our creation as it prevents the return of the flow of life force energy back from the source field. As a result, this mathematical template promotes metatronic code that is based on the two spheres of the vesica Pisces and then expands upon the bi wave instead of the eternal three life spheres which restores the perpetual source energy return via the tri-wave code. 
The artificial flower of life is an entropic system of artificial intelligence architecture intended to digress consciousness from the original plasma Christos divine blueprint of the 12 tree grid and manifest the closed source system of antichrist life forms. When the original creation program of the crystal code from the God source is altered or modified in any way, the ability to self regenerate and ascend is interrupted from the loss of energy present. This eventually leads to energetic collapse or internal implosion of the blueprint system, which manifests as fallen finite consciousness and then moves into potential annihilation. Metatronic bodies were generated in which certain parts of the core 12 tree grid would be removed and then plugged into an artificial system which produced bipolar artificial light, which is dependent on siphoning energy from living things. Metatronic structures can be traced back to their origins in Christic structures as they are distortions represented from the original eternal math contained in the base 12 core manifestation template of the 12 tree grid. This mutation produces an outcome where an incarnated being that undergoes biological spiritual expansion would increasingly find themselves trapped in a finite closed energy system Whereas the being's field expanded, the metatronic spiral would increasingly amplify disconnection between the layers of the consciousness body from the higher heart center. This was the attempt made to collapse the inner vertical channel in the light body and destroy the permanent seed atom in the thymus gland that flowers the sacred crystal heart. Thus the flower of death generated an artificial axis of spin rates that altered the overall flow and circulation of life force energy that is required to adequately nourish and sustain the evolving consciousness body of a human being. This metatronic flower of death was inserted and promoted in the New Age as the flower of life with sinister malintent by the Thothian groups. It became the covert and deceptive use of black hole technologies right in our midst, being used to supply these negative alien entities with a powering device for their artificial creations and ongoing enslavement agenda. In the Eighth Dimensional Metagalactic Core, they installed this black hole technology that enforces the metatronic flower of death, geometric patterns, to run its mathematical distortions for the demon seed ratio throughout the galactic plane. And that would further be transmitted into all of the lower dimensional planes and then circulated as instruction sets into the planetary logos further by intentionally compromising the integrity of the organic universal tree of life, core manifestation body, this artificial structure redirects the perpetual life source supply of the organic crystal flower of life by collecting and sending that harvested energy to the Orion groups that were stationed in the metagalactic core and into these artificial portals leading back into the black hole system. This was also designed in this way by the negative alien agenda to have total control over the eighth dimensional metagalactic core and to monitor the consciousness travel activity to and from the galactic plane with the intent to ultimately conquer the earth territory whereby they would completely control who could come in and out of this time matrix by guarding the main access portals into our reality system via the galactic core. 
Essentially, the result amplified metatronic reversals and thus acted as a frequency fence that was blocking access from those in the higher creation worlds or the benevolent Christos races that were attempting to contact their representative star seeds that had incarnated on the earth during the ascension cycle. From monitoring this area with the black cube matrix and looking glass technology, they could easily monitor from the astral plane and see who was expanding consciousness beyond the demon seed ratios, who was and was not breaking through the frequency fences they had set up as consciousness traps. The Milky Way system was a time matrix that could be entered into from certain portals in order to incarnate on the earth, but it was a one-way ticket. The higher dimensional beings from other systems could get in, but it was very hard to impossible to get out. Thus many souls and starseeds from other systems that answered Earth's distress call became trapped in this control matrix through metatronic reversal coding unable to leave until the planetary architecture is repaired in the Crystal Guardian hosting cycle during the 2012 and beyond Ascension timeline. Thus, these metatronic reversal entities that live thousands of years by feeding off humanity have much more knowledge of the starseed groups on the Earth than the starseeds actually know of themselves. Many have been constantly harassed and repeatedly superimposed with karmic loads and metatronic code to keep them locked down and recycling in the earth plane as consciousness slaves. In this lifetime, foremost, this will come to an end, and the continual recycling of souls is over, meeting in the singularity of ascension in approximately 900 years.